Hi, this is Phoenix Genesis for PhoenixGenesis.com and our two YouTube channels, Phoenix Genesis and Fred Camper, playing Minecraft on PlayStation 4 and my Phoenix Genesis Survival World with the Natural Texture Pack. And we're back on Shadow Island at the Trident Research Facility. Last video, we um, looked at both a sneak peek and we looked at my best diamond enchanted armor setup. Now I want to do the uh, plant guide that I've been uh, promising you guys and gals. So what I did is I went around the world and I collected all the um, little plants for decorations that I could find so I could uh, put it in one place and uh, describe them all so let's start with some mushrooms now mushrooms previously you had to have a uh, mushroom island with uh, mycelium to grow the giant mushrooms and now you can also find giant mushrooms in the dark oak uh, roof forest biome yay um, so that's two places now that you can find these and you do need a silk touch pickaxe enabled to um, you know get them otherwise if you try to break them up with a regular old pickaxe you're just going to get the small version so there's the red one over here for the giant red one and there's the little brown one and that's the giant brown one and um in both their incarnations they make great decorations the home moving on we now have six different trees in minecraft um up from four thanks to the tu uh, 31 update and we're almost ready for tu 32 yay they put those change logs in so we're just waiting to get the update and fix all those nasty bugs anyway going back here we have, um, if you take trees and plant them in regular grass, they're going to grow into nice big giant trees. But uh, in these little pots, they make nice little saplings that uh, decorate the home. So we have the oak. Here we have the birch. We have the spruce. We have the jungle. We have the acacia and the dark oak saplings. And the acacia and the dark oak in the natural texture pack are pretty similar. This just has a darker stem. So anyway, uh, moving along here, in, in addition with the um, any old uh, shears uh, I like my silk touch ones though I always carry those in my under chest you can also get leaves from these trees when they're giant trees outside and the leaves make great decorations so we have here oak again birch spruce jungle acacia and dark oak now notice how these leaves are a little yellow they're yellow because we are in a savanna dry biome like a desert biome um, or a mesa biome you're going to get these things to be um, these leaves have come out uh, more yellow so you really want to be careful where you, what kind of leaves you place in what biome in your home um, and I prefer for the uh, desert areas uh, the dry areas I prefer the uh, birch because they retain their color and the spruce also retain their color very nicely and the dark oak looks a little bit uh, less yellow than the oak but they're pretty similar um, oh also here um, with your jungle uh, with your jungle uh, wood you can um, do a cocoa pod those kind of make a nice decoration almost like a lamp to the home and if you break this up you will get uh, you can break it up with anything your hand you get three cocoa beans sometimes you can get up to five and you just go ahead and you slap those back down and they'll start out um, tiny yellow like this they'll go into three stages and when they're big and plump and orange they're uh, ready to be harvested so not only do you get cocoa beans for dyes and food yay uh, you also have it as a decoration so that's an added plus uh, moving along here we uh, don't forget with your leaves that you can um, make them into planters so you can do an anvil which is a functioning uh, base uh, this is just acacia wood I mean pretty much any block works and uh, they also make it nice additions now if you really want to take your leaves up a notch and make them a little thicker uh, what you can do with your leaves is you can go ahead and slap some vines on them and especially uh, for the yellowed ones that'll make them a little bit more green in your home so I think that looks really nice you can see they're nice and green and lush right here and uh, I really like that let's go back down <coughs> Dr. Evil my dog is sleeping in the bed so I don't want to disturb him Oops, come on doors close now let's move on to um plants oh uh, by the way i'm gonna close this door um yes i'm building a new storage area here uh, i can never have enough storage i think it looks really nice i'm using all the um ocean temple stuff i didn't realize i thought i had to fight the guardians and i tried to fight them last night and actually there were no guardians but i realized that there were some uh dark prismarine embedded once i put a night potion and I, I could actually see the temple underwater so i and i kind of went figured out how to get inside i went ahead and grabbed a couple of those but anyway that's my little storage area right now 
So let me close that. That's a little sneak, another little sneak peek. Going back to plants. So um, you can have crops as well that make nice little plants and you can have them harvested or are in the process of growing. So one thing you can have as a plant is you can have the um, pumpkins and melons. And if you put a torch in the pumpkin, you get a jack-o'-lantern over here. Here's your regular pumpkin. And once again, we're in the natural texture pack, so it's going to look different in different texture pack. Here's your melon. And now, by the way, the melons do um, grow in addition. And before, you had to get um, melon seeds in a cart and a mine, which was a real pain. And now you can actually get melons in jungles. They're just kind of laying around in little patches. So that's really nice. So run in your jungles and snatch yourself up some melons. They really make a nice decoration to the home. And um, also, you can take... Um, Wheat and nine wheat in your crafting table makes a hay bale, and that makes a nice little um, decoration as well. And uh, though this is not a crop or a plant, uh, the slime block is a new addition, and this is kind of a fun thing to uh, have in the home. It's green. It kind of looks plantish. You know, it looks nice around plants, and um, it's kind of got this, like, mini solid block inside and the lighter one outside, and you can bounce on it. We find it fun. Um, my ceiling's not really that high. And what's nice about the slime block is you don't need any silk touch or any special type of tool to pick it up. Um, you can use your hand, and it still retains its texture. Throw it down again. There it goes, so you're good with that. Um, and speaking of crops again let's go over here like I said here we have um, wheat we have carrots and we have potatoes and the carrots are always a little more orange in the base so that's how you can kind of differentiate them um, they look kind of similar but they also make nice little um, plants in your home um, they don't go in planters obviously they just so you have to and you have to till the soil and they also require water we'll jump to that in a minute um also uh, nether wart with soul sand also is a nice little addition to the home you must go to the nether to get it so um you know but that also is not only a nice decorative feature of the home but also uh again it's a functional because this is survival we're playing in now with these crops you do require water so um, you can cover up your water with some nice lily pads so it, um, it'll it retain kind of a nice solid walkway. You won't be like falling in and you can just walk right over them. And uh, lily pads on their own with a little bit of water, even just one block kind of, I don't know, breaks up the home and gives it more of a earthy feel. And uh, going over here, sugar cane. Now, cactus only goes in sand. Sugar cane can be both planted in sand and in grass, but it does require water. So just remember that. And um, the thing with the sugar cane and the cactus is they, uh, they harvest in a three-tier uh, process, um, kind of like the uh, cocoa pods. So the important thing to remember is that um and the second and third you can harvest those and the base you need to retain if you want the plant to keep growing otherwise the plant's dead and it's done and over with but you um if you want to stop the growth and you want it just as a simple decoration in your home uh you can just slap some carpet or uh, uh like a slab on top i have a stone slab in my zen uh, garden over at the bryce uh, ranger station area on the phoenix genesis world and this will stop the growth so that makes a nice little table and you or you could do it at two levels as well and cap it so you could have um, varying um, sizes. Oh, what's really cool that I discovered by accident on the um, cactus is that um, normally a cactus, you always have to worry about taking damage. It's a great um, defense if you want to fight hostile mobs, but uh, in villages, desert villages that have cactus, um, your villagers can get killed. Um, your ocelots can get killed by the cactus if they wander over. Um, your dogs uh, your sheep, your pigs, um, pretty much anything. So um, if you cover it with this little um, covering, it becomes um, non-invasive. Uh, non so oh, see, wait, okay, see, I'm really getting myself um, getting slapped uh, silly there. Now see, it's perfectly neutral. D just remember, if you do do this outside of decoration and you do also want as a mob... Uh, mob uh, defense that uh, it will be neutralized so just remember that so going over here um, I wanted to show you with the potted plants the cactus also can be potted and it makes a n nice potted plant um, let's before we do yeah well you know what we'll go this way Speaking of potted plants, we originally started with just two flowers in our world. We started with the dandelion, the yellow one, and then we started with the rose, which they changed the name to the poppy because now we have the rose bush right there. And that was it. And after a while, you're like, okay, I'm sick of the same two flowers. So it's so nice to have something different now. So now we have these nice purple uh, alliums, and you see they're a little bit higher. Um, around the same width, just a little inchy-binchy higher is the um, oxy 
daisy. Those are really beautiful as well. Then over here we have the blue orchid, which are found in swamps. And also these kind you can find in flower forests, these other flowers. Um, these definitely come in swamps. They're kind of hard to find, so if you see them, snatch them. Uh, the Zor bluets, I like these. They're kind of like a bouquet of like little daisies or something. And they're great for like uh, areas which are kind of lower in the home where you don't want the flower to look squished. You still want a little space, um, a little gap there for sh and like especially if you put them on shelving I think these look really nice and they're kind of a neutral color so they blend in with everything now here we get four different colors of um, tulips we get the uh, red the orange the pink and the white tulip those are really nice so if you want to make like tulip uh, fields with windmills that would be really great the as previously mentioned, we have the cactus that can be planted, um, the dead bush. The dead bush also looks um, nice planted in sand. And then we have uh, ferns, and we have, the, again, the red and um, brown mushrooms. Now, the thing with the mushrooms, too, is you can um, have mushrooms gone wild here, and you can take some mycelium and slap them there. And the growth patterns are kind of interesting. They don't necessarily grow on their side, stay on their side of the uh, fence here. So you see the red ones kind of came over here, and the brown ones kind of, wow, they went all over the place. They went away over here and way over here. So uh, if you're going to grow them and you really want to have a little bit of um you know, growth, make sure you need and leave enough area for those. Um, and then kind of last but not least over here, we've got the um, the fern and um, also, oh, oh, wait a minute, I'm sorry, before I get to that, let me go back to the big flowers here. Um, uh, so other things that can be plant in grass that don't go in planters is the tall grass, even though it doesn't look too tall, it's called tall grass, the rose bush. Then over here we have the um, lilac, which is really pretty. Then we have the sunflower and then here the peony. And uh, think about the sunflower, it only grows in one direction. So right now, um, I mean not grow one, but faces always faces the same direction. So if we plant it here, no matter um, what direction we plant it, unlike the um, here, right here with the um, with the uh, hay bale, we can kind of orient it in three different directions. This will always go in the same direction. Right now, it's facing east, or if I had a compass, um, it's facing to the spawn. So you could use this as kind of a direction finder if you're lost and you find a sunflower field or you carry one in your inventory or ender chest. You can kind of throw it out whichever way it points. You know kind of what direction you're orient towards so I think that's kind of interesting now let's go the last um, thing I want to go over is the uh, tall grass and also the uh, fern which can go in a planter right here so what's interesting about those is I was wondering like how to get them so I was like oh I'll take um let's throw these up now let me make some space here and let me bring these down so you see I have 31 of these and 32 of those so let's take my silk touch shears and I'm like oh I'll just take some shears or silk touch shears and pick them up and I'll um, have them and I can replant them wrong see now I have 34 and here now I have 33 so actually um, that's weird it actually gives you um, two of each so um, if you use a silk touch here um, you will get two of each of the regular ones so what's cool is you can then take it and um, and plant it here and then plant it here and now we can take some bone meal and we can slap that bone meal down and we can grow it and boom just like that like magic we have the uh double tall grass and we have the uh double fern or tall fern i don't really know what you call it the big ass fern um so anyway you get one of those big each ones and you get next to one of those in your inventory um and i'm going to take it down one more time because i wanted to um also mention we have new materials here uh if you find the redwood forest the mega targa you get what's called the podzel because it looks like fall leaves autumn leaves that have fallen on the ground and that's really beautiful and you can plant things on that and we also have coarse dirt coarse dirt is easy to make uh gives you excuse to save all your gravel you just take gravel and you take um dirt and put it together and you have coarse dirt and that's great um also addition to the home to spice and spice and um is that a word spice up and and liven and live in your home environment so there we go we replanted those again anyway i hope you enjoyed my uh plant and flower guide and that gives you some inspiration to um you know, do some new and exciting things in your home. Once again, uh, like, comment, subscribe, and rate. It really appreciates uh, everything. I'm really, really appreciative, and it motivates me to keep going. And once again, it's Phoenix Genesis signing out.